What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to Fatal's quarter final knockout stages. Today I am playing against Maverick from Maverick Wolves and he is a great player. He already knocked out Bateson to get this far. Game 1 has already been played, it's over on Mav's channel, link is in the description below, go shower him with love, absolutely solid dude, both of them, the pair of them are absolutely legends, and uh, I'm excited for this game. Now as I say, the first game has been done, guys, of course we managed to knock out DJ Mario to get to here, it was nice to get a win over what I would consider my like arch nemesis through Fatal, you know, we matched up like five times, maybe even six times now, he's got the better of me more often than not, so it's good to be here. But we're against a tough opponent in Mav, and uh, as I said, I've already played the first game, he's already got a good squad. So if you don't want spoilers, I suggest you pause this video and click the link in the description to go and check out Mav's game and Mav's channel. Show him some love and put a hashtag Team Sweat in the comments section. And if you're already, if you're still here and you haven't gone and watched that, you're going to get it spoiled now. So I suggest you heed my advice and go and watch it. So it was actually quite a close uh, encounter in the first game. I lost 6-2. It was, it was a... An embarrassing scoreline in that sense. It was quite a harsh scoreline. But the game was actually quite free-flowing. It was back and forth. I had a lot more opportunities. It was one of those games for me where it felt like my defenders had their boots on the wrong feet. You know, I put in a couple of good tackles to, to keep the ball. And the ball just popped, popped back to him. Manuel Neuer made a non-save to concede one goal. But generally speaking, it was a very open back and forth game that I feel like on another day I can win. So I'm hoping that that day is going to be today. Because if I don't, I'm out. So we lost game one, guys. We need to pull it back in game two here. I'm not worried about game three. My main focus right now is on this game to try and make sure we can get that win and move on into game three. This is my squad. Let's get into the action. Okay, guys, so Mav's team is on the screen. Inform Jesus, Inform Ericsson, Kante, Vidal, Berting, Alaba, Bai, De Gea, and Walker with Henri up front and Salah at right forward. <coughs> Excuse me, a great team, uh, a meta team. Obviously, you expect that from the fatal participants. Now, once again, I'll say this, guys. I get salty and frustrated when I play FIFA. I've got nothing but love for Mav. He's an absolute legend. A like, really big fan of... Uh, of just him in, in general, you know, met him out in Gamescom, him and Wolfie met him out in Gamescom, and they're just top, top dudes. But because of how FIFA makes me, it wouldn't surprise me if I said something untoward because of the way this game triggers me. So uh, just throwing it out there that if I do say something, uh, it's not nothing personal. <laughs> it's just because this game triggers me. With that being said, dudes, right. I'm in for it. I'm in for it, boys. I'm in for it. We're going to do our best this game. Not that I didn't do my best in game one. I did do my best in game one. Like I said, I think uh, in, in terms of how the match went uh, at 1-1, because it was 1-1 at uh, some some point in time, I had a couple of really good opportunities. I think I hit the bar with, um, with um, Sané. I hit the bar with Sané and uh, oh, I tried that. I did that hill. I did him with the hill to hill flick last game, and I uh, thought he'd fall for it again. Um, yeah, I hit the bar with Sané and could have gone two one up, and uh, then he ends up hitting me with a second goal where I did. I did get a tackle in. Oh, that Henri run is it's auto switched me off. Not like this. EA, good save, Neuer. Oh, just switched me off. Switched me. Maybe it's me that switched off. Maybe it is me. Yeah, that inside ball to Henri is there. Oh, he's hit me with the uh, fake shot. Ah, that's noise all day. Oh, we've got a great counter on here. We've got a 3v2. If I could pass the ball more than four yards. That was uh, unfortunate, to say the least. No foul there, ref. That's outrageous. That's a good read. Oh, never mind. Is he going to get the ball here? Good stuff, Boateng. Right, here we go. We've got possession of the ball at last. Very aggressive there. He wasn't super aggressive in the... Uh, in the first game, that's my bad. I saw Del Piero make that run. I tried to go down there. The, the, the option wasn't on. His fullback was actually in the in the hole there. And I just didn't recognise it. That's uh, that's nothing but uh, my fault right there. But yeah, he, he wasn't so aggressive in game one. I wonder if he's feeling himself a little bit now because he got the win in game one. I wonder if he's like, hey, you know, this should be a bit, bit more comfortable, isn't it? Once you get that first win under your belt, what you know, you, you're, the, you're the one in the advantage. Oh, that's... Golden opportunity here. Carl Walker. He's put it wide. He has put it wide. Maybe that's where Antonio Valencia is a better player, uh, in my opinion. You know, because Valencia's got decent shooting. I don't actually know what Walker's shooting is. Uh, but Valencia has got very nice shooting. <coughs> Excuse me. I've scored like multiple goals with Antonio Valencia, both online and offline. Um, 
may, uh, maybe I could have cut that one back in as well. But it's a positive first start. We, we've held Mav off in terms of uh, his attacks. You know, he had, a, he had that one corner, but he didn't really do much out of it. We've got a through ball here on. Sané is down in the wing. Yeah, he's got the space there as well. Not quite the ball that I was going for. Oh, that first, uh, that first pass was aimed into Mane there. Because I saw him in a little bit of space and I wondered if I could get the edge on him. That second ball, though, was the, the wrong one to, to do, I suppose. Right, go on, Sané. Let's, let's get you down there, lad. Let's slow it down a little bit. You see, Mav, Mav defends a lot like DJ Mario and I use that to my advantage. And I, I'm going to have to try and use that to my advantage. Ah, oh, that jam. Uh, I'm going to have to try and use it to my advantage here as well. What he does is he allows the, you know, like, like I do, according to every uh, Spanish viewer in the world. Um, he allows his defenders to just sit there and, and uses the midfielder to track. And I'm doing the same thing myself right now. Uh, it's obviously one of the most efficient ways of, of defending in FIFA 18, just allowing the AI to do all the work. Oh, I've, come, I've read that. Yo, my, my thumb wouldn't let me run upwards with Alaba. Come on, EA, come on. Um, yeah, it's, it's just an efficient way to defend, you know, uh, and... Usually, I'm good at spotting it, and I can like make it uh, make it my positive rather than my negative. But uh, I'm rushing a little bit with my with my attacks because I I know that I need I need to score. You know what I mean? Like goals for me are an absolute must. Man's doing a good job of holding the possession right around the box here. Oh, I've let him in there. That should be Noyes ball again. Yeah, nice catch from Noyes. We've got another good counter on here. As long as I can actually win the the first ball this time, which I did. That's very nice indeed. Bakayoko, he's got well, already the, the AI, the, the defenders for Mav is already back here. Got a little bit of space here with David Alaba. Let's run it right around the outside. Nobody ever expects it. I see you at the far post, De Bruyne. Can't get the, can't get the, uh, the ball over to Hay. I thought I put enough power on that, but uh, obviously not. That's going to be my ball. Very nice. And uh, 30 minutes in, guys. We're still in contention with the, uh, with the game here, you know. It's, uh, it's still nil-nil. I think I was maybe a couple goals down already at this stage in the last game oh I just could not ah it's just not it's I feel like uh it's just not going my way today you know I feel like the rub of the green is against me instead of for me and uh that's quite frustrating but we're gonna plow through dudes here we go with Vidal let's let's take a leaf out of let's not take a leaf out a leaf out of anyone's book oh d what's he lunged for if he doesn't lunge there he just gets the ball Come on, boys. Come on. 35 minutes in. I think Mav's had a little bit better possession than me, uh, but hasn't really created anything too clean cut from it. You know, it's a lot of passing around the sort of 35, 45 yard mark and hasn't really led to, uh, to much, by, uh, much by way of chances. That's just poor. If he scores off of that. It's, I, I mean, I made the wrong pass choice anyway. I actually tried to pass it up the field, but because I had my back to the player... The AI has just decided to pass it into a random spot, and it, it is entirely my fault. There's no, no one to blame there, uh, but myself. I could, I had time. There was no need to rush it at all. I rushed the pass and uh, just passed it straight to him on the edge of the box. And what do you know? Two, two, you know, one or two passes later, and I find myself a goal down. It's just poor. It's, honestly, it's just poor, poor play from me. I expect better of myself than that. Uh, you know, the way I played against Mario, I felt was really good FIFA and I, I managed to like control the games and, and, and hold the ball, create a lot of opportunities. Very, very difficult to create any opportunities against Mav here. And uh, let's just have a pot shot with Del Piero. At least got, at least got a shot out and, and got to test the, the gloves of De Gea there. You know, you never know sometimes with some of these long shots. Sometimes they uh, fly into the back of the net. Look, it's, I'm, I'm, I was literally holding down there on my analogue stick and it... I'm not looking to make excuses here because this has been a, a, a close contested game. But that's the second time I've tried to run in a direction with Alaba. And the computer just has not recognised my like analogue input. That's a great play. Ooh, what a block. That was a really nice play. That's actually gone out for a goal kick. That's crazy. Um, right, so he's marking the runners. Let's go out to the uh, right back there. It's going to be tough. I'm going to have to go attacking, I think. Just because uh, Mav seems to be... If you look at his D-line here... He's super deep. I don't. I don't know if that's just on counter attack or if that's on defensive or ultra defensive. But he's super deep, none, nonetheless. And so, for me to be able to get back into this game, because I've had problems creating. Uh, that that seems to be the the biggest issue here is creating the chances. Come on, Mane, you're better than that, and that's going to be half time. That's poor. And if we look at the the match stats there, where have they gone? Um, yeah. So as as expected, a lot more possession from Mav. 
I've only had the two shots, one decent shot, and Mavs only had the two shots as well. But unfortunately, that one chance I gifted him went into the back of the net. I'm going to switch out as well. I'm going to switch out to a 4-3-1-2, sorry, 4-3-2-1, and see if we can uh, make better use of a midfield, like a flat, a flat midfield there, and put the two wide dudes on the wide sides and get Del Piero up front. See if this just has any effect on us, because I'm, I'm not creating enough. I'm not creating anything, really, to be honest. Um, and in, in game one, in fact, it, you go and look at the match stats at the end of game one. I think Mav had 13 shots, uh, seven on target and scored six goals. I had, uh, I think, 11 shots, uh, six on target and only scored the two goals. But it was, as I said at the start, you know, it was a free-flowing, end-to-end open game. And I expected the same here. I expected a lot of goals out of this one. This one has not been a free-flowing end-to-end game. This has been a very, very high possession-based game. A very big duel in the midfield. That's a good ball. Yeah, I expected that. I just, I just honestly just feel like my, my players are half a second off. And that's, that's no discredit to Mav because he's playing a good game. Um, he, you know, he's, like I said, he's, he holds the ball well around the edge of my area. He's resort, you know, limiting me to just counter-attacks only. But every time I try and do something, it just feels like the, the player is a little bit off what I want him to be. Oh, there we go. We've got some space down here at last. See, he's run away there because of the way he likes to defend. I need to take. I need to use that to my advantage a little bit more. Let that AI defend. That was for Del Piero. That was for Del Piero. I actually thought I almost got the ball back there anyway. But yeah, that that pass in was for uh, Delhi P, as Nick would like to call him. I need to stop using the second man press. Oh, nice back, Yoko. That's a great ball. Sané! Oh! Rebound! Come on! Do I deserve that? Probably not. Probably not. Will I take it? Hell yeah, I will. <laughs> uh, the formation change has proved uh, qu quite immediately effective, I'd say. Um, we've, we've gone for the 4-3-2-1. I think it does counter well the 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. We'll see if that forces uh, Mav into a change or two. He's got a good bench there with Alessandrini and Costa. I've, I've got a good bench myself, to be fair. Um, I just I have too many attacking options. I could bring on Dries Mertens for say Bakayoko, put Del Piero in midfield and just go for a full attacking midfield, and then bring on say Dembele um, a little bit later on. And I'm more than happy to do that. But we get a goal back, guys. As I say, is it deserved? Probably not. Um, well, I mean, based on the the first 55 minutes of the game, it probably isn't deserved. But based on the the 10 minutes since half time. And since I made that formation change, okay, I'd say maybe it actually has, has been all right. Just don't concede straight away. Uh, never mind. Ooh, good. I mean, I say good hands there. That was actually a pathetic save. Like the ball was going a mile per hour towards uh, Neuer and he's parried it out. And then I've not cleared it. And that's going to cause problems for Mav, not for me. Because we are clean through here with Dries Mertens. He's on as a sub. He's through on goal. Dries Mertens drills it. I'm going to get another rebound and it's going to go out for a corner. And it does seem like, guys, this formation change has proven huge for me. Uh, the corner was wasted. I should have taken that short. I had definitely a lot more options again. Oh, I'm going to get the loose ball here. And again, it, you, you can see the, the way the game changes sometimes. Like, all of a sudden, Mav's gone from passing immaculately to his passes just, like, bobbling off of his players. And that's just wild. I'll take a corner out of that. If it goes out, that would have been offside otherwise. I uh, didn't actually aim the pass into that section there, but we'll take it. We're going to play the ball short. Dries Mertens. It's going to find its way to Sané. Sané's going to shoot. Side netting. I'm having much more luck here, guys. We're, 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 we're playing just much better FIFA since we switched the formation out. I would like to be able to uh, get that second goal, you know, get a little bit of a comfort goal and make sure we can take this to a game three. That's a nice play from... Uh, from Arturo. He's got the beating of the defender here. Just so difficult to get anything. Come on boys, we can do it. I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to like a, a good long shot. He's offside. Yeah. That was I mean that was a decent shot as well. I just didn't play a passing quick enough there. I, I had a few more seconds uh to either wait to get the pass in and allow him back onside, or I had uh, I could have played the pass one time quicker. I I, just, I took a touch. I thought that was going to be the right thing to do, and uh, it probably wasn't in the end. 
But as I say, guys, you know, I feel like we're fully back in this game now. And Sané should be through there. He's got Alaba for company, but the pace of Sané is real. Penref! He's just pushed me off the ball, ref. Come on! That's a nice play from Mertens. Got the ball to Alessandro Del Piero. You can't give him this space. You cannot give him that space. Oh, a lesser keeper would have seen that fly into the back of the net. I'm still, I'm getting there though, dudes. I'm, I'm, I am creating the pressure. The, the only downside I have, and we might see that come into, into play right here, is that I have a very, very attacking midfield. So when I lose possession, the only player I've got to help out and cover is Arturo Vidal. Uh, you know, taking off Bakayoko, it was risky. But I'm going to hope that it was going to be worth it. I'll take a corner off of that. That's a cheeky corner, that is. Let's play this one short. I'm just going to run this one down the line. Yeah, we've got him behind. That's poor. After I got in behind the defender there, that was uh, that was really poor. I had multiple options of what to do there. Still got a good, good, uh, good bit of possession here, though. Nice play on the ball from the boys. Ten minutes to go. It could literally be a situation here where next goal wins. You know, this is uh, this is danger danger zone now. Here's Dries Martins! Come on! 2-1 with eight minutes to go. The substitute and formation change of dreams, guys. And we are in front. Now, just hold the kickoff. Just hold the kickoff. Yes, Vidal. I like it. I like it. That's weak. You know how I gave away the first goal with a poor pass? That's the same, man. That's just such a... Just an easy pass. Shouldn't be happening at all. Oh, that's a beautiful play, that is. Fight for it. Fight for it, boy. Oh, crap. This this is golden opportunity here. I've tried to read the pass and he's played it short instead of through. Good tackle. Falling straight back to Mav. Five minutes to go. Henri's in the box. Oh, he's got a sweat on. Oh... I he had another man across from Gabriel Jesus. You will see it here. Uh, like I tried to mark the sweat, but what I would have done is passed it one more time for a tap in. And so I tried to read that and read what I personally would have done rather than what I thought was the best uh, thing for him to do. And I've ended up, uh, I've ended up conceding off of it. We're still in a good spot though. Two-two. Looks like this game. Oh, we might get a kickoff goal ourselves here. De Bruyne, good to say. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. There we go. It's 90th minute, boys. There's a chance. We're going to get Ferdinand on this one. In at that near post. There it is. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Let's get a ball in again. Dries Mertens. Look at that touch from Vidal, EA. Jeez, if Henri touches this, I'm screwed. I like it. All right, looks like we're going to extra time on this one, boys. Extra time it will be, guys. Great game. Uh, and again, since since I changed formation, I've just been absolutely dominant. You know, the first half, I think Mav had two shots in the first half, and I had only had two shots in the first half. So second half, I peppered his goal. I conceded to that one counter attack. Fortunately, I've still got two subs. So we're going to bring on Gamero and Dembele. Uh, I'm going to put Dembele up front and we're going to play Mertens and Gamero in midfield. They just offer a little little bit more uh, in the midfield than Dembele. But once again, my midfield and attack is crazy attacking. And uh, that that could be dangerous when I lose possession because I don't really have a ball winner, especially after taking Vidal off. Oh, God, not from kickoff. VA, please. I don't even know how he's got that shot away. I thought I tackled the ball there. I'd like to see that one again. I hope Mav doesn't skip it. When I put the slide tackle in, I thought I got that. Oh, it doesn't even show it. It doesn't even show behind the slide tackle. All right. Oh, so we did concede straight from kickoff. Brutal, that is. That is brutal. There we go. Should be, should be back in the game. Terrific <laughs> stop. Man, that's rough. What can you do but laugh? He's actually going to get that. That's insane. Thank God that went out. Holy crap. I would probably cry my eyes out if he managed to keep that in. Let's go, Carl. 
No, I, 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 I'm, I'm already regretting taking off Vidal. Yeah, Henri through it. It's going to be toast. Ooh, get out of jail free card. Let's go. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? That's an effort. Good save from Neuer. I've still got some time. Still got some space here. Good ball out. I can't believe it didn't score off the kickoff there with Dembele. We've got Dembele through again here. Oh, I tried it. Now, I'm actually not attacking, right? I'm still on balanced. But I think because I have such an aggressive attacking midfield, my team is pushed so high up. Oh, that's dangerous. That's nice from Alaba. Yeah, my team is pushed like so, so high up. Oh, Dembele's through again. Let's go. I don't know why I did that. I, I literally don't know why I did that. When I'm 3-2 up, that was unnecessary. Sorry, 3-2 down. That was unnecessary. He's offside. Surely he's offside. Wow. What a finish, first of all. I thought he was offside. And that, again, that's a silly mistake, isn't it? That's just a silly error. I got in behind there with Dembele. And instead of just playing normal FIFA, cutting it across twice and potentially having a tap in, I tried to do a Rabona fake to a, a Kocha flick. He's offside! I'm going to have to watch that one on the replay. He's offside. I don't care. Unless I've got a defender off camera that's sitting there playing him on side. He was a million percent offside. All right. We still got... If I can hit him off the kickoff, we'll be fine. I don't, un I don't understand that. Like, like, Mane has been bumped there and lost possession of the ball. And it's just... It's no foul, and he, he's just weak. You know what I mean? He's just weak. He just gets bullied off the ball, and he just can't even ki like keep it controlled to his feet. If I could have scored there, that would have been nice because we now have kick off again. So I could I could easily have got you know four three and, and put the pressure on. Sadly not. This is more like the game that I expected, though. You know, just a back and forth, open end to end game. It's just again pretty sad. That I'm on the, the the wrong end of conceding goals. I do feel like I've been uh, I do feel like I've been the better player here uh, this 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 game, but I just haven't managed to take my chances. Whereas Mav absolutely has managed to take his chances, and yeah, you know his uh, his um, his fourth goal was fantastic. All right, we're away with Sane. I tried to play that on the inside. It's gone nowhere near. It has gone nowhere near. Ten minutes to go. Still, there is, in FIFA, there's still time. I've read that. Boateng, don't let me down there. I've tried to roll him twice and he's just wise to it. Come on, I need a possession. I need a possession ASAP. That's a good ball. He's going to cut in. Oh, he's got the easy one-two on there with Henri. That's easy. That's easy for Neuer. I, I, you know what, guys? I think my biggest mistake in this game, other than the, the really easy goal that I gave Mav to go 1-0 up, you know, because he went 1-0 up and I pulled it back to 2-1. If it, if it never became 1-0, who knows how this game would have gone. But other than that, I definitely think my biggest mistake was taking off Vidal. Since uh, since Vidal's gone off, my midfield just has not been competitive in the slightest, and uh, that that's just a huge error on my part, you know. Poor Mertens, ah, can't even get a can't even, can't even make it interesting late game there, boys. Let's pop this at that near post. Ooh, another corner straight off the bat. Let's see if we can get this one in. I've got a man on the top of the box there. Who is it? It's Dembele. That's not bad. He gets the finesse away. De Gea again plucks out. I mean, I'm clutching at straws there with that kind of shot. You know what I mean? Like, if I hit that wonder goal, that's great. But that's not a, a high quality chance, that's for sure. Foul ref. Foul ref. What is that? Um, that's the end, guys. Congratulations to Mav. Uh, that was a really fun game to play in. Again, I, I enjoy the games that are back and forth and end to end. I'm just gutted that I wasn't the guy on the winning side of these uh, games. 11 saves for his De Gea, 8 saves for my Neuer. It, it did end up, after I switched to a 4-3-2-1, two, four, 
end up being a completely back and forth game. The goal I'm most... In so I'm interested in his Henri goal. This one here, because I felt like I won the ball with the slide tackle. I didn't. Oh, I did win the ball. and I had a feeling the ball came back my way. Um, I won the ball here with Alaba, and it just it, it just pops back to Henri. Just no problem at all. Pops back to Henri, gets a shot away. But that's not the goal that frustrates me. This is the goal that's frustrated me. It is. It was Kyle Walker, wasn't it? I couldn't see Kyle Walker on, on the screen. And as the ball's played... Can we slow this down? There... Yeah, see, I, I can't see Carl Walker, or or at least my mind's eye didn't see Carl Walker. You know, my peripheral vision didn't see Carl Walker. So as the ball's played past Alaba there, I assumed he was offside. He was actually just just on, just on as the ball's played there. Henri gets it out, and uh, yeah, he, he's in line with uh, with Carl Walker there. Fair enough. It was a great finish too. Again, just got it. I wasn't able to make the most of my chances there. I really feel like I had. Uh, I, I I should have done better. You know. Conceded that late goal, conceded the kickoff goal, and then conceded a counter attack. And uh, as I say, the the biggest problem for me was when I took out Arturo Vidal. I mean, Gamero got a five point eight. Like it, it was a mistake. Vid taking Vidal out was a big error. I, if I kept him in the midfield, I might have had the defensive ability to to maintain in that game. But as I said, guys, congratulations to Mav. Great player, good game. You know, he's already knocked out Bateson. He's now knocked out me. I believe he goes on to face Nick in the semi-finals. So uh, because he's knocked us out, I want you guys and Team Sweat to get behind Mav and to support him to go all the way on and hopefully win Fatal. Because if you lose to the eventual winner, that's okay. Um, but this guy's going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.